Hey, Familia Igni here. Welcome back to Shadowverse. War. War never changes. Or I guess it's more appropriate to say that sword never changes. This is the sword list I'm running right now in Tempest of the Gods. Literally, Albert Craft took out Vanguard, took out Angel Lord, added in Grimnir and Luminous Mage. It's Other than that, it's like the exact same. <laughs> I guess another sword. Here we go. <clears throat> Got a Mulligan the Geno. I want Floral Fencer on. I'm going second. And you want Geno and you're going first. And having a one drop is alright too. Not as valuable if they have like Vanguard here. Ah, they have a Taji as well. Okay. That's fine, I suppose. Getting the Floral Fencer is really good. Veteran Lancer incoming. No two drop from him feels really good for me. And then I have made leader Taji again, and then I have Floral Fencer. Good curve. Whoa, what is this? Hello. I did not expect you. Luminous Mage. Ah, uh, that's fine too. Smoke verse. Curve verse also. Evidently. Nice. You got the draw. That's a trade. Strength and beauty together. I think I always have to trade, probably. I, I can't even them up, I don't think. Four attacks, a lot of attack. Then I have Albert, and then I have Al White as command, so I'm feeling pretty good. And I have a full board as well. He's trying to pull Luminous Mage or Albert, I think. Or something. I don't know. It's like the the, the tech with uh, Kaiza is really weird to me. I don't know. That just I don't I don't feel like it fits at all. Like what are you trying to do with that? Sword already has such good minions on three. It doesn't really fit. Sky Knights, prepare for battle. It won't be long now. A little blood will just go face. Actually, one damage off from lethal. Maybe going. Maybe trading with the. Uh, Gino was a mistake then. Should have thought ahead. Ah, this I don't care about this. So this is the end. Uh, he has to evolve Subaki here. He doesn't have a choice. Like the dew. My armor's been Go again. <clears throat> the evolves are necessary. I need to save the evolve to get through the ward later. Probably. Or well, potentially, anyway. Yeah, say it like this. I actually still can't get through this evolve. Get through this ward. Holy crap. That's rough. Oh, Simone. Doing work, man. Oh! One off. One off. Oh, it hurts. Come on. That's Simone tech, though. I like it. I really like it. Gino. No wards? No wards? Nice. Omega got him. Pew! Nothing changes. Try, he's trying some fancy stuff though with that Kaiser and that and that Simone, but <laughs> you know sometimes if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And Albert Kraft is well, it's broke, but <laughs> in a good way, I guess. It's me, Venia. You can tell he's due to masters because he's still running the Shadowverse Rex sleeve in the in the or the Shadowverse Rex emblem. Sorry, flare or whatever it's called in the in the masters rank flare meta. Shadowverse Rex is like. Way down in the bottom. Adept is at the top. Adept anything is at the top. Uh, and first pair is also near the top, but uh, Shadowverse Rex is near the bottom. So he's definitely a new addition. This is just things I can tell from your flair alone. Going with the Veteran Lancer here. No turn three is kind of rough though for me actually. Hoping to draw into one. We have so many. Well, Hungering Horde. Wow, okay. Control Blood. 
Wow, that's bad. Okay, come on now. RNG Jesus, please. RNG Jesus, please. What is this? Alright, we have the Luminous Mage though, which is alright. If this board can stay alive, I can Luminous Mage and then evolve the Luminous Knight. Which is really quite good. I just don't know how alive my board is going to be. So mostly alive, so it's fine. Problem is, putting him below Vengeance range is going to be rough, because he's going to have Snake. Doing what I want to do here is going to give him Snake. This gives him 5, 8, 10 damage. He's gonna snake me. You and I, knight. My sword brings hope. So I can't do it. It won't be long now. I can't do it, not yet. Turn the power of light. Stop staring. Steal your oh. I can't do this though. This I can do. I can't put him below ten. Or at ten. Cause the Bathmet definitely drew him a snake. Uh, that's what I'm that's what I'm guessing. If my board stays alive, though, I can go off now. Mary. So delightful. Go, go. A bloody climax. I'm scared of my of Mary anyway. Take up my shield. I have one, two, three, four, five, nine, fourteen. Right? Six, seven, eight, nine, fourteen. Sky Got him. It all ends here. Oh, I could have also evolved the Luminous. A little blood will save <laughs> Another way to win. No one gets past me. Either way. Ew, stop Easy peasy. You're tough. Against Haven. You must die. Another Shadow Rex. Sh Shadowverse Rex user. You know? SMH. Not being up to date with Flare Meta. What are you doing? Okay, so no one drops. No three drops. No four drops, but it's alright, we're gonna draw into those. It's the first turn probably made leader, actually. I feel like having a big board presence on board is a lot less relevant against Haven than it is against other classes. Because they can just banish your stuff. And just control you out, especially if they have like, you know, Temple Defender and all of them. My cards are just gonna be useless until turn four, if they just stall me. So it's more, it's better to just get the draw for main leader than anything else. Turn one secretly hurts for us too, of course. And no turn one Taji for us, but that's expected because I took out a lot of one drops. Maid leader first, then Grimnir probably. Depends on what he plays. If he plays nothing turn two, we're gonna be good. If he plays like main you or something. So it's not Stormhaven probably, because Stormhaven usually has a two drop. Let's just get a draw out. He almost definitely has black inscription in hand. And having the maid leader makes that like a lot less valuable. But he is going to draw like a lot of cards by turn 4, which is kind of sad. I mean, he's probably going to end up drawing into his... Uh, probably going to end up drawing into his Ancient Lion Spirit. I think it's valuable to trade into this. It's Alana now. It's obviously Alana. We know this. So... Don't mess with the maid! Everybody. The away. He's really sad. He's just gonna draw into removal. But I wanna make him decide between removal and you know having a ward presence and healing. If he just plays rabbit healer and banish, this is gonna be pretty sad. Um Next turn I have Grimnir Taji, which is really underwhelming, I think. Against Taven. Because they're just gonna have like Kajal or something. He's gonna play the Alana right now, so he has healing in hand. I think that means I have to go fast. But he's just gonna heal up, which sucks. We're just gonna have to go as fast as possible. Radiance Angel here, probably. Radiance Angel or Papa Kajal, of course. Done for. I see. Maybe I should have evolved the Taji, it would have been easier. 
I mean to avoid this fate. You and I, Knight. My sword brings Get that free evolve off. Luminous Fang is so good for situations like this. Turn the power of hope light. My other play there was to just put Albert face. I guess that's also actually equally viable. Albert's kind of good for burst now, though, I think. I just need to stall to turn 9, maybe. Banish. Excuse me? The real battle begins. No evolves left. I'm here at your side. No evolves left on his end, which is good for me. Weapon at the ready, youngling. <clears throat> Alright. We have Albert Veteran Lancer. We have also Lancer Death Veteran Lancer. It depends on what he plays here. No evolves left, meaning I don't have to be scared of Lion Spirit. Alana doesn't typically run Famous, I think. Although I have to be careful at turn 9, because turn 9 he just has Aegis, right? So I have to be wary. We have the Fang Blade Slayer here to get through a big board, and then turn after Albert and hopefully we win. Hopefully that's enough. I really hope that's enough. God is on what? Ah, your service. <laughs> I appreciate the creativity. Uh, let's see, I have one, two, seven damage from hand. Either way. So I just play the Fang Blade here. I will actually just evolve this. Gonna can go really low. Really low. Now Fangblade kills him too. Like evolve Fangblade, not just Albert. Uh, but he has two Alanas, so he's definitely gonna heal up a little bit. Uh huh. Nothing on board to buff though. Bricked! Got him! Nice bricks, lad. Fangblade is so good. You know, I actually crafted two Subakis, and I'm still just running Fangblade because I just prefer him. <laughs> I really like Fangblade Slayer. I really like Fangblade Slayer. Keeping Geno first is really good. Veteran Lancer Grimnir Geno. This is a good hand against Shadow. It's about as good as I can ask for since I'm not running one drops. Besides Taji, I guess. My turn. Another Veteran Lancer. So. That's great, I guess. A cast! I kind of hate that they, they changed the the game so that you can't tell in what order your opponent drew cards that they're playing anymore. Cause I feel like that added a layer of depth to the game that now it's just not there anymore. Now they just randomize the appearance of where it comes out of your hand, which sucks. I think it sucks. Spartoy Sergeant, does that run in aggro now? It's giving you more mid range actually. Looking at this this plays right now. <clears throat> this is better than Gino. Gino's really good reactive. And then I have Floral Fencer in hand as well, twice. So I get to react to his board even more now. If he plays something big here. Bone Chimera. <clears throat> I'm really not afraid of Bone Chimera. I have the Lyriel on the board, so I can just trade into these. No problem. You are done for. My wings are killing me. Weapon at the ready, young. Go face here, I think. I can't. I don't think I want to miss four damage to face here. Whoa! That's new. This is going to my Lyriel. Now he has a five-five warden hand. All the officer luminous. No, okay, that's fine too, I guess. Strength and beauty together. Strength through ya. How much do I value the Albert Evolve at nine over trading and getting a big board here? 
think I'd rather trade and get a big board. It won't be long now. Unless he has like Foul Tempest or something. My loyalty Stop is ironclad. If he has Foul Tempest, I'm gonna be impressed. Cause I haven't seen that run in a while. But I am playing right into it. Death's Breath is more likely, I, I imagine. Neither. Goblin King here, I think. Big dude, Taji. No, oh, this is better. This is even better. You and I Hot damn, you. this is good. My sword brings home. To me. It all ends oh, Luminous Mage. So Luminous Mage summons the Luminous Knight, and it makes it so that evolution points won't be used when you evolve allied commanders. And the Luminous Knight gives allied followers plus one plus zero to the end of the turn. So this is insanely good. So I just trade with this and then go face. If I attack, he goes down to two and heals up to four. Ow. This is fine. This is fine. I could have killed the Unica as well, but this is fine, I think. I don't have lethal with Albert, though, unfortunately. Hector! Oh, jeez Louise. This could have been a mistake. He has full trades. He has to trade full though. He doesn't have a choice. Nah, I just need Fang Blades there. That's fine too. <laughs> I'm also okay with this. Next turn is Albert again. <clears throat> easy peasy lemon squeezy. Sorry about the coughing. I'm kind of under the weather a little bit today. But getting that Ector out on board and then having to fully trade and not go face at all. I have got 19 health, he's at 1. Now the internet's borking out and he's not even getting his turn. There you go. <laughs> okay, I still, have, I still have a chance. If he has Death's Breath though, this is going to be really sad. Just don't Death's Breath me. Shit. It's fine, I have Fang Blade and I have uh, Dance of Death. God fucking damn it. Alright. Sky Knights, prepare for battle. Save, save us! He still has to deal with my Albert, so he's probably just going to trade the Ector, frankly. Seems like the most likely thing to do. If he plays- if he trades Ector and then plays another Death's Breath, that's going to be pretty rough for me, actually. But I just need to stall until I draw my Fang Blade, I guess. Fang Blade or Dance of Death here wins me the game. So Death's this Breath. Is the end. I really would not be surprised to see second Death's Breath here, and this is a mid-range deck. And he has five cards in hand, so it's quite likely to summon just six, two, three with wards. Golden Princess. Yeah, that's not gonna help you. Sorry. Ah! Rip! Ripperoni, pepperoni, give me the formulae. Osui! Too fast. Too furious. Mega got him. Swordcraft! Nothing has changed! <laughs> Albert! This deck is pretty good, man. Um, I think the Luminous Mage is a good addition. It's just that it dilutes your draws from Maid Leader a little bit. But even then, you saw how useful it could be in those games alone. Well, that's it for this video. Like it if you did, don't if you didn't. Subscribe for more Shadow Risk content in the very near future, playing a lot more Tempest of the Gods, basically daily. And of course, thank you to my wonderful patrons. You have my eternal gratitude. If you'd like to support the channel as well, you can visit patreon.com slash Or if not, that's fine too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.